something like this, but quite frankly, you receive very few differences in this end. You know, I tell people, we didn't have any kind of impact whatsoever, except for a small experiment during the Civil War that found unconstitutional until almost two thirds of the way through our nation's history, early 20th century. And you look what's happened afterward, when the Great Depression happened, when all these economic issues, the debts, everything was coming and bringing big impacts. Um, I want to see us move, and I want to use the term consumption tax, which quite frankly in this case goes toward what you all know is what's been discussed. But I want to do that to make sure people understand what we're moving to. It is, I do believe as a, as a fair tax, our question is a flat tax moving toward what we consider a fair tax. I want to call it a consumption tax to make sure we educate people what it really means. What we're talking about here is a tax, in this case, on what you buy, not what you earn. The income tax discourages, discourages in many ways, saving, it punishes people who earn, it punishes people who work. A consumption tax spreads everything out and makes sure everyone pays. And those that have lifestyles to buy more goods are going to pay more taxes. So in that way, quite frankly, it does hit things, but you have a choice. And that's what our nation did throughout most of our nation's history, again, to get a constitutional amendment. So I want to move toward that pre the rhetoric of moving toward a consumption tax because of all the things out there, confusion about the value added tax and all this other stuff, I believe in moving toward a consumption tax, starting with, with the uh, flat tax. Appreciate it. Thank you.